Now, you know that here on Click, we love looking at cutting-edge technology. We love it even more when it's happening on our doorstep. So, welcome to BBC TV Centre. This is Studio Zero, even sounds futuristic, doesn't it? Where the BBC are getting ready to broadcast live images to Japan. Now, what they're filming is the charlatans who will be performing here as part of Six Music's live sessions. Nothing unusual about that, I hear you say, but take a look at what they're using to film it. This is a super high vision camera. So, forget high def TV, super high vision is 16 times as sharp. It's got 8,000 pixels that way, 4,000 pixels that way, and this is one of only three prototype super high vis cameras in the world. One of the interesting things they've found is the sensor inside, the little chip, it's only the same size as a film camera, is so sharp that a normal movie lens isn't sharp enough to capture all the detail. It's the lens that then becomes the problem. So they've had to custom make a lens for this camera. So as they do the sound check, let me just explain what else is going on. A lot of other cameras to get different shots of the band. Now interestingly, they are all normal cameras because what the researchers have found is if you're watching in super high vision, you don't actually need anything other than one static grandstand shot of the whole action. And it's the audience that will move their head around to look at different parts of the frame because it's that sharp and it can really feel like you're just looking through a glass window. Right, off to the gallery, come on. So this is where they're monitoring the action that's going on in the studio next door. And this is what they're using to watch it on. This monitor here is four times the resolution of your high-def TV at home. It's 4,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. And actually, even that's not enough. If they wanted to see all the detail that they were capturing from that big camera next door, they would need four of these, two up and two along. That's how many pixels they're capturing and sending to Japan today. Blimey. Everybody, meet John Zubrisky. He's from BBC R&D. He's involved in this big project. John, thanks for uh, having us today. How are you sending these images to Japan in real time? We're sending those pictures via the internet. Basically, what we've done is we've connected together the world's high-speed internet services to create this live link at 350 megabits per second that's needed for this super high vision picture. So why aren't you using satellite? It would take a lot of satellite transponder bandwidth, which would be very expensive. And so we're researching the use of the high-speed internet because it's, we see this as the way that we will use uh, uh, transmit video pictures in the future. This is the VIP room. This is where the important people are going to be watching what happens today. And here we find Dr. Keiji Kubota, who is the director of R&D for NHK, Japan's public service broadcaster. Dr. Kubota, thanks for your time. Do you think we'll actually have, in the future, super high vision TV sets in our homes? Yes. This is what we are thinking about when we do, we do research on super high vision. It will take time because we have just started regular HGTV digital broadcasting service. And we've got 3D to do, yeah, <laughs> as well, haven't we? And uh, probably we'll continue this service uh, 20 years from now. But in parallel with HDTV, I hope the Super High Vision Broadcasting Service will take off in the near future. And uh, I hope everyone understand that the Super High Vision will be a wonderful future and uh, will be a part of daily life. So there you go, just after you spent all that money on your high-def TV that also does 3D, you can sling it up into the bedroom because you're going to need a super high-vis TV in the not-too-distant future. I'm going to watch the charlatans. Bye.